Hey guys, so this is a video for those of you who want to buy more ethically and environmentally conscious clothing, but maybe don't know where to start or are just looking for some tips. I know that it can be difficult to find eco-friendly and ethically made products. It's a lot harder than just going to the mall or high street and picking up some clothes because it does require some research, but it's important and worth it to know that the companies you're supporting and the clothes that you're wearing didn't harm anyone or anything. In this video, I'm not gonna get into the issues in the fashion industry, but if you are interested in a video about that, please let me know. I think it's important to educate yourself and I'm also happy to answer questions or share resources in the comments below. I think it's really crucial to have a good idea of what your priorities are because it can be extremely difficult to find something that checks all the boxes and it can also be really discouraging. So first decide what's most important to you based on your values. Is it ethical manufacturing? sustainable materials and production, locally made products, vegan and cruelty-free products. So when you've decided which of these areas are most important to you, it will make your research a lot easier because you can focus on those things. Now it's obviously also really important to consider the actual clothes because no matter how eco-friendly or ethical they are, if they don't fit, you don't like them, they fall apart, it's just pointless. So it's also a good idea to know what clothing characteristics are most important to you. Is it quality, fit, comfort, functionality, price, style, materials, color and print, durability? Some of these do overlap, but again, it's difficult to find a product that has them all. Now, I also recommend having a really good idea of what you need when you're going shopping. And I've mentioned before about keeping a wish list of items that you've thought about. And it doesn't have to be really specific. Um, I actually recommend not being super specific because it can get discouraging, but maybe things like a pair of dark wash jeans, a sleeve dress that can be worn for day or night, or a top that goes under the jackets that you already own. And that allows you to focus on the items that you actually need. So now that you have an idea of what you're looking for, you can begin to shop for it. And how you do this is gonna depend a lot on where you live, what you're looking for, your budget, your time, and how you like to shop. So I'm gonna give a few different ideas and suggestions, and hopefully some of those are helpful to you. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any of your own suggestions or tips. So first of all, there's shopping online, and I'm gonna start with this since it's the most accessible because here we all are online. Now I know some people don't like shopping online because you can't see the item, touch it, try it on, and this ties back into knowing what your priorities are. So for example, if fit is a really high priority for the item you're shopping for, then shopping online is probably not your best option. But shopping online does give you access to the largest variety of eco and ethical products. And it's also easier to search for the specific criteria that you're looking for. You can also read up about the companies. Online, they'll often include information about their sustainable and ethical practices. And if you have questions, you can send them an email. There are also websites that like rate companies based on their practices. So you can do some research there. I'm gonna include some links below of some sites I've found that seem to carry a good variety of products products and brands that focus on eco and ethical responsibility. Uh, some of them even have nice filters so you can search by different sustainable criteria. So if you're looking for a place to start, those might be good to check out. Next is shopping in person, and there are different places to do that. You can shop in your local stores and boutiques, but this often requires some research beforehand. Depending where you live though, there might be stores that specialize in only eco-friendly or locally made clothing. You can also find brands online that share your values and aesthetic, and often on their website, they'll have a list of stockists and maybe their products are sold in your city. If you're looking for local or handmade products, craft markets or even farmer's markets are really good to check out. It's really cool to talk to the people that actually made the products and sometimes you can even order custom made things or have things altered. Finally, you can shop for secondhand clothing and this is arguably the most sustainable approach because no extra material or labor was used to make a new garment and you're saving something from going into the landfill. Depending how you like to shop and what you're looking for, there are a bunch of different options. If you have a smaller budget or enjoy the treasure hunting aspect, thrift stores and charity shops have a large variety of clothing. Then there are vintage stores with a more curated and specialized clothing selection, and you can find some really beautiful high quality pieces. There are also consignment stores, and those are generally well organized. Everything is of a certain condition, and you can even sell or trade in items you might be getting rid of for garments that you need. Some places even have very high-end consignment 
diamond stores that specialize in fashion forward and designer brands for obviously a lot less than what you would pay new. And sort of related, you can also rent clothing. And I think this is more common with men and renting suits, but there are also companies that rent cocktail and formal dresses for women. And I think that's really cool because if you have an event to go to, you can rent an outfit for a day or two without having to buy something new. So when you're actually shopping for the item, I think it's important to not be too hard on yourself, be open and be willing to compromise. I like how both Hello Kathy and Sonia FBY talked about being okay with something that isn't necessarily perfect because that will make your experience a lot more positive and less stressful. Also, don't forget about tailors. It's so bizarre to me that there's this expectation that clothing should fit right off the rack when there are so many different types of bodies. So if you find something that you really like but it doesn't necessarily fit perfectly, consider getting it tailored. It costs a little bit more, but it's totally worth it to have an item of clothing that fits you really well and that you enjoy wearing. And finally, if you just cannot find an ethical alternative, always go for quality, because that way you'll have the item for a long time and get a lot of use out of it. If there are brands that you really like that just aren't taking any ethical or environmental responsibility, let them know how you feel. You can tweet them, email them, call them. It's unfortunate, but a lot of companies just won't change their practices unless they know that they're gonna lose customers. So I know that was a lot of information, and for those of you who made it this far, I hope you found it helpful. I'm planning on making another video about how I shop, what I bought last year, and how I put this all into practice. So if you're interested in seeing that, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.